Good evening, welcome back to the action. Final of our last 16 matches. Cameron Tolley takes on Tom Cousins. Mark Shepard and Aaron Davis with you for this one. In what you would assume would be a slight clash of styles. Although Cameron's actually had a, a pretty good run through to this last 16. Yeah, and um, a, a good start to be honest is... Um the last few times he, these guys have played is probably pretty even. Um, maybe like the past three or four matches they've played, I think it's probably probably about two all. It's only a guess, but I know that Cameron has beat Tom a couple of times recently. Yeah, there can't be too many people with that kind of record against Tom. He's blitzed all before him this season. Coming into this event as the number one ranked player, but Stevie Dempsey has been close behind. Stevie's already out of this tournament though, so Tom is building up the lead as he carries on. Not quite as played there, but still got a chance here. Yeah, he's just checking whether the the red nearest to the top rail does go. And to be honest, if it doesn't go, he could probably pot it off the yellow into the corner. So I think either way here, he's got a decent chance now to clear up. Looks really good in his last match against Jimmy Croxton. Jimmy played some decent stuff, but Tom just blitzed him. Big powerful break as ever. It's very impressive in amongst the balls. So this is a pattern we generally see from Tom. A bit more measured at the beginning of matches. Just takes his time a bit. No real pressure from the shot clock at this point. Although, down to five seconds, he's going to have to get down and play this shot. Different players have different ways of dealing with the shot clock. Some people are probably naturally quicker players than Tom, but in his typical laid-back style, he can hit the ball in one second and still doesn't really look very rushed about it. Yeah, but as it's happened here, he's, he's over-screwed this by quite a bit, and he'll do well to hold for this ball now. He, he can still hold for it, but he's got to hit it very well. and Possibly, he only has maybe to pot it off the yellow now, so... Certainly can't pot it straight into the pocket. Doesn't look happy though, so maybe it's tight, I don't know. Yeah, it does look tight from this angle, doesn't it? He's not with it too much of the yellow. Oh, he's just that really well if that goes in. Wow, it was almost a brilliant shot. Yeah, and the reason he, he went that way with the cue ball was because it was that tight and what he was doing there was putting a lot of right-hand side on the ball and what that did was sort of give him more chance of putting the red. So it was certainly very tight because he was putting a lot of right-hand side on the ball and he nearly potted it, but it was obviously very tight. Cameron calling for the extension chance he wasn't expecting to get. That's his luck. Well, not perfect, but at least he is still on a shot. That red is very deep into the pocket, so if he wants to play a skill shot at some point, it wouldn't be the most difficult shot. It's just going to get a position on the yellow to play it. Yeah, and if he doesn't want to go for the skill shot, he does have the option of the yellow nearest to the red ball now. He could just pot that onto the red and leave the cue ball behind the other two yellows, which would leave Tom snookered. So possibly pot this now, screw back to probably centre table. And he now does have the option of, he can go for the skill shot, but he doesn't have to. He could just drop this onto the red and 
leave the cue ball behind the two yellows and Tom probably has pretty much no shot. If the cue ball was where the other yellow is, it would be a guaranteed combination shot, but from the angle he's played that out, that's the right shot really, because it wasn't a guaranteed yeah. that he was going to pot yellow and red, so he decided just to commit to that shot. Yeah, the only thing is he does leave Tom a, I mean, a very small chance of potting the eight ball, but probably percentage-wise there was the right shot. Yeah, it can end up looking like the wrong shot if your opponent pulls out a monster fluke. But well, when I say fluke, he's obviously going to try to pot it, but not not a high percentage shot. And if he covers the one over the pocket, which he has done, he, he at least leaves a tough shot now. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's the best possible result, short of potting the black. So one over the pocket would have been an easy starter and would have given him good position, whereas now he's going to have to pull a shot out. Yeah, and the reason Cameron played that shot where he he knocked the red in and leave, left the snooker was because he thought he was guaranteed that if Tom missed the eight ball, he was going to be left that shot and he hasn't done it. Oh, and what a pot that is as well. Fantastic shot. Yeah, that's a great bit of queuing because he's under pressure. I mean, he's trying to get an element of safety, but he's still leaving the eight ball for Tom if he misses. He's got a very sort of deliberate technique, but I think that actually disguises just how good a potter he is. We've seen several times in recent matches him pull out a lot of big shots. This is going to be a good frame to win. Oh, surely not. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I think, I, to be honest, I think that was going in. And I honestly think that's rolled out. And I mean, that looked centre of the pocket at one point. Yeah, it looked like the only thing that could save him was the pace at one stage. But it's just found the far jaw. Well, <laughs> what an end to that frame. So, first look at Cameron's break. Not quite the power of his opponent. And that's come up dry. It's a bit to be done here, but... The red balls aren't sitting too badly for Tom. Yeah, to be honest, I think the yellow to the centre to the left centre goes and it's gonna be yellows and probably the only tough yellow is gonna be the one that is just above the left centre. Whether he can break that out now, I don't think he can, but maybe it just goes straight in. Yeah, mate the reason I was saying reds, I didn't think the top one went, but it does actually look from that angle now the first one's been moved that it will just drop in off the red, in which case the yellows are sitting really nice for him. Yeah, it does look this will be a quite a straightforward finish really for Tom to be honest. probably be the one to the left centre which will be his last ball and he's going to leave the eight ball into the bottom right corner so just wants to screw this back a little bit the yellow in the centre of the table to the left corner as long as he's straight on the, the other ball in the centre it should be straightforward from here Ideally, I'd like the white an inch or two further off the cushion, but still fine. No problem at all with the position, but just makes the queuing a bit more difficult when you're near the cushion. Put 
purposefully trying to leave a bit of angle on the yellow so that he can get the cue ball back out. He might possibly pot it off the red as well, as, as long as he thinks it, the red won't get in the way of the eight ball. Oh, well, he's just standing straight in, it was pretty easy actually. Yeah, and in fact, the fact he could pot it direct meant they could just hold for the eight ball. So, in fact, that finish, well, made to look easy by the quality of the play, but actually those balls linked up a little bit better than it, it looked at first glance. I mean... <laughs> You would say, looking at Tom's demeanour, he's not somebody that's really dwelling on that in the slightest. But I think maybe that slightly underestimates how much he does care about these things. I think you don't win as much without being competitive and without analysing the game. Although he looks super casual, I don't think that's to say that he's not thinking about how he goes about the game. Yeah, and I think that one of the main things I've spotted from Tom... Um, to show that he definitely does want to win these tournaments is I know it was a couple of years ago where he had a bit of an off spell and people were sort of saying you know as he as he dipped in form or whatever and and what he did was really hit the practice table and he, he decided you know he wasn't practicing enough he started practicing a lot more you know sort of a few times a week and obviously this year and a bit of last year as well he, he come back and he started winning tournaments and he did say that, you know, he felt he wasn't practicing enough and he started to really hit the practice table and it showed in his performances, so it does show that he, you know, he, he does really want to win. Yeah, and you can really see the difference since he started practicing a lot, not just the results, but just looks a few percent sort of better in amongst the balls, just seems to have a really perfect touch. It looks like he's playing a lot. I mean, it was obviously a difficult period just before Ultimate Pool launch was the, the COVID lockdown era when nobody was really playing unless they had a table at home. There weren't as many tournaments or indeed any tournaments for a period, so probably harder to motivate yourself. He did look pretty ragged. The very first ever Ultimate Pool tournament he played really didn't look his usual self. I mean, by any means looked terrible, but by his own high standards. But he turned that around pretty quickly, like a couple of tournaments in, he's suddenly visibly growing in confidence and then obviously he's been on this absolutely crazy run for the last year and a bit. Well, that's not something you see Tom ask for very often, he's quite a tall lad. Can't, can't think the last time I saw him call for a rest. Could be the first time, to be honest. <laughs> he's not played the shot very well either, having called for the rest. Well, actually, I think he's straight onto the one into the left middle and yeah, probably right. runs through and leaves a nice angle to come down table, but certainly the next shot will still be a tough shot, no matter where he leaves the cue ball. Yeah, I think it's actually turned out positioning OK. It just didn't look like it was quite how he was intending to strike it. So I think to leave a lot of angle, which is obviously better to have too much than too little here because he's got a long way to come with the white. I think it is possibly too much angle from what he wanted anyway because certainly the bottom left corner comes into play here and something else he has to think about. But I'll tell you what, he's played that very well. What a shot that is. Yeah, that's a, another shot of a confident man. Playing it like that, you just catch the ball ever so slightly too thick and you're definitely bringing the corner pocket into play. You have to catch that just right. I mean, you really need to know the, the pace of the table and not just the pace of the table, but the bounce off the cushion as well. And to land where he landed there, literally inch perfect, what a shot. The confidence it must give you, I mean, I, I don't know myself obviously yet, but the confidence it mu must give you winning a tournament like this um, probably makes it that little bit easier to then win and win another one. Yeah, I mean, it, it's the same with everything, isn't it? All Q sports are a kind of confidence business. Once you feel like you're hitting the ball well, it's just kind of easier to continue with that.
made a ball, but slightly messy layout. Not tempted by a pot there, just playing the containing safety, turn over the open table to his opponent. Very hard to know what to do when you're playing someone as good as Tom, because if you don't go for half chances, you're not necessarily going to get a better one, but at the same time, the last thing you want to be doing is chasing after things and opening the table up. Yeah, to be honest, I think I like the shot Cameron's played there because that certainly was a tough finish and I know obviously he's playing Tom but he's still going to be a very tough finish no matter who's playing at the table and yeah, I certainly like the shot he's played however though, if Tom can pot this in the right corner and get the cue ball out he does then have a few options to develop the eight ball, so if he can pot this now and get the cue ball out, he does have half a chance. That's pretty good from where he was. There's a couple of different ways he could have played that last shot, but trying to just Flick, fairly thin contact, just trying to get the white moving back towards the middle of the table. Be pretty happy to have got it out. Yeah, the thing that went wrong in that shot was knocking the red in the path of the right corner pocket for the yellow, which is furthest down the table. And Yeah, hard to legislate for that and then forced into playing a shot with, even by his standards, a lot of pace. You see him miss so infrequently, you assume whatever shot he goes for, where he's got any kind of open shot at it, he's going to make it. But just trying to force the issue there, just didn't quite come off. problem ball and that's not too much of a problem the one on the right hand side kitchen just below the break line if that was another ball just above it oh that's gone astray though just trying to be a bit too delicate with that one needed to commit to the pot yeah to be honest he was a he was very short with the cue ball anyway and obviously that's just because he's missed the pot thick and he was actually trying to get somewhere near where the eight ball is really with the cue ball to have the correct angle to develop his bad red but yeah I think it's just a missed pot in the end. <laughs> well, he was trying to clear out that pocket so that not much luck this yellow that's right in the middle of the table he was trying to find a pocket for it and reds keep appearing. Yeah, and to be honest, the only pocket that he has for that for the yellow, which is in nearest to the centre of the table, is the left middle. And his problem is now, how is he going to get on it into the left middle? And this is no good. Yeah, he's got a bit too greedy with the position there. It's just left slightly off straight the wrong way. I mean, he's got amazing Q power, but even with all that power, the options are pretty limited here. As you say, there's just so few pockets. It's amazing, isn't it? The ball's right in the middle of the table, and there's only actually one pocket it goes into. There's pretty much no shot on here, to be honest. Well, that would have been an incredible shot if he'd pulled that off. Just load up with side, trying to go round all the angles, but just asking a bit too much. He's 
in the end. He's going to wish he'd just rolled that ball in and try to pull the shot out from this end of the table because this is very awkward from where he is. Well, hasn't really played anything in the end. Not sure yeah. if he was doubling that for the middle or if he was just trying to play a containing shot. I think he was more concentrating on the cue ball there and trying not to leave Cameron a first easy shot really. I know he's left the uh, the yellow ball on the side rail but just trying to leave Cameron a tough first shot but he has potted it. It's come up a little short, ideally he'd like the cue ball to run on a bit. He's played a good first shot though. long game has been very good so far. Oh no. Oh, we just come past. <laughs> yeah, nudging into the bottom of that one to me to get out, Cam. Finished out absolutely fine, though. Ball off straight so the cue ball comes back out for the last red. Oh, that's a careless one, though. To be honest, he, he didn't need to hit it that hard, really, because especially on these tables, as long as you roll the ball down the rails, um, you have you should really pot the ball, and there's certainly no need to hit the ball hard down these rails. No, there was no need for the position either because he had a natural angle. I mean, sure, he'd love to have come out and said he was completely straight on that red, but it didn't really matter if he'd left more angle. Still wasn't a difficult positional shot. Well, Tom's missed the double, but he's got a second prize there because he's partially covered these reds. The only shot really he's got is to probably clip this one very fine to try and get the snooker. It needs to be fine, it's not. And he's left the yellow. Yeah, he needed to almost miss the right hand side of that red. He's got that way too thick. I mean, not that it was an easy shot anyway, but could have done without leaving this. Shot there. If the eight a little bit awkward, but happy to have this shot. He had a couple of shots like this in the match against Jimmy Croxton. He just cued them so smoothly. Does exactly the same there. That's all done now, though. Well, it's gone airborne. Just about got a ball as well. Yeah, amazingly, for all the power he got in, he was looking for a second like it was going to come up dry, but Paul has found the middle pocket. He's taking a look at this. The height he gets on the cue ball. Looks good. I mean, functionally not actually that useful necessarily, but plays to the crowd, if nothing else. few nudges are going to be required here. He's got a couple of balls. A little bit awkward at the top of the table. The one above the eight ball probably does pot to the top right hand corner. Yeah, not sure if he can... What he needs to do here is run into the yellow, which is on the rail, but if he can't, he could just drop onto the one nearest to the eight ball and then develop the other red next to it. Which I think he's tried doing. But he's just hit it fractionally too hard and probably now can't clear up from here. Yeah, if the cue ball just stops a roll or two short, he'd have been in quite good shape. But that's going to be very awkward because 
Not sure he can even see the potting angle, but even if he could, he's going to be smashing into the black. And he'll still have the problem ball, so he's going to have to just play a containing shot. Not actually the worst thing from his point of view, although he'd have liked to clear up in one visit. He's now promoted the most difficult of the Reds and he's got Cameron in a bit of trouble. off the cushion. So we'll see planning to play off the red onto the yellow. That's a fantastic shot. And to be honest, as long as the key ball's not touching the yellow, Cameron has no shot here. All he can do is clip off the yellow and just leave Tom the finish, to be honest. He's going to do very well to get this safe. Fantastic safety shot from Tom. A slight glitch as you can see with the scoreboard. Clock isn't counting down and we're one frame behind with the score. The scoreboard in the arena is correct though, so play able to continue. So, extracts the foul and now these reds in good shape for the clearance, particularly with the benefit of ball in hand. Interesting how different people see the patterns. I think a lot of people will be looking at that ball thinking that was kind of the easy one on the table, but concluded that positionally it was a pain to get back off, so decided to pot it first. Now it's going to drop this one bottom left, top right, right centre. so accurate once he gets into these patterns he manages just to play a series of shot stop shots no need for any movement so another good finish for Tom Cousins 4-1 now well that's a much better break in terms of outcome He'd love to be yellows here. The easy opening ball is the red. He has got one yellow he can go after. Yeah, can still go yellows. Um, I think the obviously the only yellow you can pot is on the right hand side of the table. If it is touching the rail, which I think it is, it's probably an easier pot than maybe it looks on the camera. It'd be terrible if he had to go red. I think the two on the left are almost a plant. Oh, he's not played that very well. To be honest, I'm very surprised he's not going yellows there because I know he was queuing over the eight ball to pot the first yellow, but with it being what looked to be touching the rail, it was actually not too tough a pot but these reds are so tough very surprised he's gone reds yeah he's also going to have to trust to a bit of luck he's going to have to make the plant and then can into the ball on the left hand side Kishan Keeble's probably going to get end up getting pushed up the table which may not be the worst thing probably more likely than not to be left with a shot 
And that's actually turned out pretty well. And to be honest, that's a really good shot because he can just stun this in now. Leave the cue ball where the red is and he pots the red into the left middle and the one nearest to the bot line does go past into the top left corner. So it looks like he's going to get his reward for what was a much better break compared with his earlier ones. Almost lost the cue ball into the middle pocket for the second time in this match, which could again have cost him the frame, but for the second time it came just onto the jaw. So Paul's one back, six frames played, 4 2 to Tom Cousins. Oh, we got a bit lucky there, the cue ball was tracking towards the corner pocket, and one of the Reds played goalkeeper. Yeah, it certainly was. If you watch this now, top left corner, cue ball was going straight in. It's a good split as well. Had he gone in off, Cameron would have been coming to the table with ball in hand and fancying the job. Opening shot if he wants reds may have to take yellows. Not that that's too much of a problem. The yellows aren't in a bad spot by any means. Yeah, I do think the the yellow on the right hand rail is very tight, and I mean, I, to be honest, I don't quite think it goes. If it does go, it probably just a have to be a pocket weight shot. And if not, he's going to have to develop it. So. Really, on the reds, he had no option over first ball, so maybe this is a bit more of a gap than I think. Well, you call it, it did look tight, but the way he's played that, he obviously felt that he could pot it. He wasn't playing to cover the pocket clearly, because he's now going to have a bit of a problem. Because if Cameron wants to just play the loss of turn, he can just roll the red along the top rail, leave the white where the red is. Pretty much guaranteed snooker. Oh, I thought it wasn't going to drop then. Yeah, that's a horrible moment when you play those shots and the ball stays on the table. Good outcome in the end though. Yeah, and Tom really has no shot now because unless he's going to manage to pot one of these in the, the right middle maybe. He's going to leave Cameron or the Reds sitting, really. Don't blame him for playing it like that. It's almost one of those spots where if he just hits a ball, he's guaranteed to leave the game. Sort of hoping to make something happen. Could have fluked a ball or could have knocked a red safe. As it was, he hasn't really done either. And surely Cameron has to play one of the two reds which is in the centre of the table he is doing. Yeah, for a moment it looked like he was lining up a ball at the top, which yeah. seemed crazy. I think he was maybe just looking at his next shot. There's no way he ever wanted to leave those two clustered together. It was so ideal having ball in hand. This is all looking pretty straightforward now. I think the ball on the top rail probably goes past the other one. Yeah, well, maybe not, but even even if it doesn't, no real problem here. Yeah, just has to be careful of the cue ball now, though, because doesn't really want to cannon the red next to this one. And he's played that well. Managed to miss the one that was next to the one he was potting. And the fact that the black's got knocked up to this end of the table means there's nothing to be done positionally. Suddenly we're in a position which didn't seem all that likely a couple of frames ago. It's only going to be one frame behind after he pots this eight ball. Yeah, 
Yes, it looks. Oh, that's so unlucky. That's a tough break. Look at this split here. He's got the balls moved nicely around the table. Just look at the cue ball here, though. Sends it straight back into the pack. And such an unlucky knock to go into the middle pocket. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was completely stationary at one point and then hit a couple of balls. Gift wrap for Tom here. Really is because on the Reds there's only probably the two at the bottom of the table, which are a problem. He's going straight down now. If he lands on this one into the bottom left corner, which he has done. Just probably the ball nearest to the eight ball. Not sure if it passes into the left centre, but if it does, it's straightforward. If not, probably still one positional shot to play, but. This is a key frame for Tom. He's had quite a big lead. And Seeing it pegged back, wants to try and reopen some daylight. Just looking to get the match clock restored to the screen, but it's probably a bit under 20 minutes remaining, so time not yet really a major factor. at this a few times <coughs> it looks from that angle like the middle of the red would pass the eight ball but the way he's playing this suggests perhaps not conversely it doesn't really look like the red passes the yellow to the right centre but it obviously does from the way he's playing it Now, I think this ball's pretty straight, either way really, if it's completely straight you can just stun it in and if it's yeah. got a slight angle you can screw back for the other one in the same pocket. I'm not sure he's left the best angle there, I don't know if he can drop it in but yeah and he couldn't drop it in to screw it back but played it well. from Cameron has proved costly. Maybe not quite happy. It's another good break. A few things that could have gone wrong with the cue ball that time as well, but the cannons were good ones. So if that's just going red, suggests that the, must think the eight ball passes the yellow to the top left hand corner, in which case everything has a pocket. done here the only even halfway difficult pot was the one he's just played and that wasn't remotely difficult by his standards wants to leave the right over the right center to link up with the eight balls so he's just going to clear the two at the bottom of the table first yeah, and he won't try anything special to get on this I don't think just probably screw back to where the cue ball is now and yeah it's a little bit of a thin cut but nothing really for Tom to worry about certainly won't want to be trying to screw off the right hand side rail here there's no need to try and get too close to this he does love this deep screw shot but yeah it's not, it's not doing anything silly there just a perfect natural angle the keyboard's just going to be tracking towards the fork cushion it's quite tight when you see it from the overhead but as long as you're behind it he fancies the shot still 
well, actually quite deceptive from the overhead. It looked like he was going to have to just squeeze it in off the, the yellow, but plenty of space as it happens. And that was achieved the first thing he crucially needed to do, which was to pot a ball. You do feel this kind of cut break. You do generally get the balls clustered up a bit more. Tom's been getting really clean splits with balls scattered around the table, whereas a bit more traffic here. Yeah, at first glance, obviously, it looked like the yellows were a little bit clustered, but I think they've all got a pocket, really, and he's going to pot this one into the left corner. And once he pots the one into the left middle, that obviously then opens the the two yellows up down the rail into the left corner and possibly his last ball now will be the yellow nearest to the red so he's going to pot this one in the middle pot the two down into the left corner the yellow into the right middle and then his last ball will be the yellow nearest to the red into the left corner May just choose to drop this one in now though and possibly leave the one next to it into the right corner. A little bit straight on it. Able to just force out. Safer positional shot played this way but had to force the pot. It didn't make it potentially messable but no such problem. So now this links up pretty well because you just drop the one in the right centre and then the one to the left, bottom left, it's quite tight actually past the red, but it feels like there's enough space. Is he a little bit straight on this though? I, I know he can still punch it out for the eight ball, but still a little bit straight. Just about. Yeah, did have to punch that out. That wasn't a completely natural shot. Holding himself together well though, this has not been a, a case of him missing lots of balls. It's just been that... Thomas just had slightly more chances, which is the reason why he's still got that two-frame lead. Cue ball airborne again. Black almost in. Not playing golden breaks this weekend, so Black would just have been re-spotted had it gone down. Just watch all the balls shoot up the other side of the table here as well. Such an amazing explosion, doesn't it? All the ball's just immediately moving around. I think he's looking at the red right centre. There must be a gap if he's playing it. That's come out well, potted the ball. Made sure of the second red that's gone neatly over the corner pocket. Cameron sitting in his chair is going to know that he's not very likely to get another shot in this tournament. Found a route through to probably the most difficult ball on the table to get position on. And now not very easy to see where any problems would come from. Drop the ball in top right. Next one top left. Just come down towards the middle of the table again. Which order he takes these, you can play for the one in the corner or the one in the middle. Surely not. I thought he was going to land on the yellow then as well. <laughs> that was certainly closer than he meant to go to that yellow. Yeah, that was about the only way he could have given himself a problem. That's probably the safer way, taking this one to the middle first, just took any element of risk out of it. It could possibly go wrong would be to get snookered, but it would be an extraordinarily bad mistake to bring those yellows into play, and he doesn't. He's not had his all his own way. Cameron's played his part in this match, but ultimately Tom Cousins, as he so often does, has had a little bit too much in the tank for his opponent. <laughs> 